So hi there, welcome to another episode of Back Fiend Focus. And I'm presuming everyone knows what we're doing by now, so let's just get into it. And today we're talking about how reptiles will take over the earth. And yes, it's a drinking video. Right, so Brad, we've done this a couple of times in videos before. We've talked about how like, you know, sea creatures take over the earth, how dogs will take over the earth. So we're going to do, talk today about reptiles and how they take it over the earth. So, as per usual, throw out some reptiles for me, some scenarios that, you know, the reptile army overthrowing humanity would need to face, and I'll give you some suggestions. The first issue I'm seeing for the reptile takeover, yes. there's not many of them that fly. Yes, there isn't, is there? But there are ones that can glide. And my idea for how, like, you know, the reptile human war would start is that the first thing they do is get all of, like, you know, the flying snakes to go to all, like, the major cities of the earth and go to the top of the tallest building. So imagine being like, you know, you're in New York and then the Empire State Building. And suddenly, without warning, tens of thousands of flying snakes jump off the edge and just fly through every open window they can find. That is like, you know what? You know what that is? That's a fucking start to a war. Imagine, <laughs> you sat there, you're watching TV, suddenly, three flying snakes fly through your window and land on your neck. And then you, know, you, you look around and go, oh God, it's happening. I better run to a room that's safe. I know, my bathroom. Get to your bathroom. What's in your pipes? Water snakes. <gasps> sea snakes. They've gone up through the waterworks and they're waiting. And you sit down on the toilet thinking, I'm safe. Water snake comes out, bites your ball sack, done. I was going to bring up the fact that humanity has like jets and airplanes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we know from past like media yeah. that the, the, the reptiles already have a contingency plan. Yeah, snakes on a plane. So if someone out there is thinking, yeah, but won't we just all get in like jets and just bomb the, like, the reptiles into oblivion? How do you do that? How is a jet fighter going to take off when, as soon as the guy climbs into it, his cockpit becomes snake? Like, his entire cockpit is just full of cobras. What's he going to do? And I think with snakes, they'd watch out. Obviously, the first thing you're going to do is, like, you know, the first part of attacking someone is knowing thy enemy. The snakes are, okay, humans are afraid of snakes that hide in planes. Every plane is now full of snake. So, like, all of our, like, you know, our ability to defend ourselves via, like, you know, air warfare is just gone immediately. And not to mention all our population centres are just, like, if you imagine going outside and it's to the sky, it's just snake. <laughs> You're like, you know what? Fuck this and go in indoors. So what if people are hiding out in a fortified building? Like, a snake can't get through a fortified you know, building. Like, you might be able to get through like, the vents, but if humans know, they'll man those vents with like scissors and the snake heads come through. <laughs> Done. Snake gone. But what I'm thinking is, if reptiles really want to take over the earth, they bring in ringers in the form of dinosaurs. Because let's, let's be honest, if we're talking about a reptile takeover, dinosaurs are coming back to get their fucking revenge on mammals. And I know that, like, you know, dinosaurs, like, you know, eventually, like, evolved into birds. And I think there would be, like, you know, discord amongst, like, you know, the reptile dinosaur ranks of who identifies as a bird and who identifies as a dinosaur. And it would be sorted when the T-Rex walks in, the tyrant lizard king, which is what Tyrannosaurus Rex, like, you know, directly translates to and says, you know what? We're fucking reptiles, let's fucking go and sort these bastards out. So now we've got like the pterosaurs and the pterodons and stuff yeah. in the air. Yeah, and then as well, like, oh, we need to get to an armoured building. Fucking bring in that stegosaurus. You bring in that, tr like, that triceratops and on its horns, you know what it's got? Cobras. So as soon as like, you know, the horns, like, you know, bust through like, an armoured wall, cobras fly out at the end and get you. It's the ankylosaur just smashing up the car. Fucking ankylosaur, man, it's going to fuck everybody up. Like, you've got dinosaurs as well. Water warfare is no longer an issue because you've now got a giant water dinosaur from the Jurassic Park movies. So, oh, we're safe on our little fishing boat. And the thing you think, okay, we're going to shallow water where that thing can't get us. What do you see? Well, the alligators come. <gasps> the alligators are floating. Okay, we're safe. The alligators can't get onto the boat. But what are on the backs of the alligators, Brad? But the Jesus lizards, the one that can walk on water. <laughs> and what's that on their back? Is that more cobras with explosives on their backs? And the Jesus lizards run across the water and launch the cobras like, off their backs and get onto the boats? Mate, what do you do? <laughs> How do you defend yourself? The world becomes cobra. This, I'm going to be honest, like, the tip of the spear of the reptile assault on humanity will be mostly cobra-based. <laughs> it just sound like it's going that way. Because snakes are so effective, because they're so scary. So imagine that like, you're there, you're lying down in bed, thinking, I'm safe, and you're looking around your room, and then suddenly, just like, the fucking anaconda comes out. So we've got a lot of, like, poisonous snakes in here. Yes. And we're talking about the big lizards. Yes. What about the tiny lizards? Well, like geckos and shit like that. Well, the thing about geckos is, they have the ability to stick to anything. You know, like, the tiny hairs on like, the ends of their, like, toes, they can stick to anything. Imagine if they use that power on us. And it's like you're asleep and you wake up, your face is covered in geckos who aren't moving, but they're also not going to let you go. 
you pull off, you pull them off, your skin comes off. You've now got no face. How do you fight without a face? <laughs> and while you sat there in the mirror screaming, I've got no face, my, like, my, all my skin's been taken by the geckos, Komodo dragon busts in and sprays acid in your eyes. <laughs> like, or imagine like spitting cobras, you only spit the venom, you pull the gecko off, like you've got exposed flesh in your skin, spitting cobra, it's like sniper vision, just gets you right in like the wound. I can just see it now, like you're in a, you're in like a locked up room and there's no other way and you're like, thank God I'm safe and then yeah. suddenly the rattlesnake turns yeah, up. Yeah, they're there for intimidation factor only. <laughs> they sit outside every human stronghold constantly He's like, oh God, the maracas of death are here. Who would be the scouts? Who would the, be like the assassins? The scouts would have to be Brad, the chameleons. Oh. It's like, how do you see it coming? I'm picturing now like the situation room in the White House and like, you know, the president's there going, okay, how the fuck do we kill all these reptiles? Like there's dinosaurs coming back to life to kill, kick our ass. What do we do? And he turns around, he just sees the entire wall. He's just chameleons. <laughs> and they, like, they are, like, you know, instantaneous, like, transmitting the knowledge that they're learning straight to, like, you know, reptile kingdom, like, reptile HQ. And he's like, oh, shit, there's nothing we do. He's like, every human, like, stronghold will have, like, at least one chameleon, like, betrayer in there, just letting us know what's going on. So when we did this previously mm -hmm. with the... Um... With the dogs, with we, the had, dog, yes. we had hero units. Hero units, yes. So who do you think would be the leader of the army? The leader of the like, reptile army. I think it has to be reptile from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> because he's a ninja and he's a reptile. So he knows like you know how humans think he's part human, but he's also part reptile. And I think backing him up, like the science officer would be Dr. Connors from Spider-Man, aka the reptile. And then the person leading all the snakes, who like the tip of the spear, would be Medusa. <gasps> Because obviously you've got the power of like, it's like instantaneously turning people into stone. So imagine like if they, like all the snakes are just like dragging around little TV screens with Medusa's face on it. <laughs> just like beaming it into your eyes. Like all the chameleons on the wall just form the image of Medusa and turn you into stone. What do you do? Would Godzilla be taking part? I think Godzilla, like it, despite the fact he's a giant ass reptile, I think he would be like above this conflict. He said like, he doesn't give a shit about humanity. He's like, you know what? I am Godzilla. I don't care for these, like, you know, the conflicts of these peons. But you know who would get involved? Zilla from oh. the 1998 Godzilla movie. Because that is just a giant lizard who gets pissed off that humans, like, you know, torpedo it to death. And we know from those movies it can lay lots of eggs. And it'd have lots of little baby Zillas running around. And they'd be teaming up with the Velociraptors. <laughs> who are also, as well, covered in snakes. <laughs> Every, everything I mentioned is covered in snakes. Just snakes are the most dangerous. Can I imagine it? Like alligators running. Jokes they say like an alligator or a crocodile can run at 20 miles an hour. Imagine if they ran and then when they stopped, snakes like extended like vine whip from like um, like ivy saw and dragged it up ledges. <laughs> Just imagine the comments section, people going, but velociraptors are birds, they're covered in feathers. Like, no, no, covered in snakes. Yeah, they're covered in All snakes. the feathers get plugged out and the snakes go into where the We've feathers We've already established, like, yeah, there will be a rift between dinosaurs, like who identifies as a bird. And who, well, if Tyrannosaurus Rex translates to Tyrant Lizard King, the king of the dinosaurs would k keep all those like motherfuckers in line. So all dinosaurs are on the reptile side, in my opinion. E even Barney. Well, no, Barney is the human sympathizer who gets crucified. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I love you. Can't we all get... No, no. Barney the dinosaur is crucified immediately. You know who's crucified by? Voldemort. Because Nagini will be in the war. Nagini, the uh, evil like like demon snake. He's got part of Voldemort's soul, he's got Voldemort on its side, and Voldemort uses his powers to levitate snakes through people's windows. <laughs> <laughs> what other fictional lizards have we got who can, like, fuck everyone up? Well, I mean, the most devastating one I can think of, aside from Godzilla, yeah. is uh, that one in Rampage that's mutated. The giant fucking t uh, the it's giant alligator. The think, giant yeah. alligator. But if you've got that thing coming in, you've got all the giant snakes. You've got Anacon the, like, the snake from Anaconda. The thing is, at this point, I feel like reptiles have got too much in advantage. <laughs> so, Brad... Who would defend humanity from, like, you know, the reptile hordes? I think there's only one family that could uh, help what, us. One dynasty, one lineage. Yeah, and it's Steve Irwin's it lineage. Is, yeah, like, Steve Irwin, he's dead, but he's sired children, and those children can fuck up some lizards. I'm imagining Bindi and... Robert Irwin. Robert Irwin. I'm imagining them just coming out, like, you know... Wearing like armor covered in Steve Irwin's face, which also actually strikes fear in all reptile kind. Like alligators, like do the giant alligators running towards them? 
You pull up a picture of Steve Irwin, that shit runs away. <laughs> Robert Irwin just stood in the mouth of the, the snake from Anaconda, holding it open. <laughs> just like, ah! And his sister just comes up like the sword of Godric Gryffindor and cuts his head off. I'm just imagining, like, uh, the, the battlefield, like, the aftermath. And obviously because Robert Irwin, like, if you've ever seen him, he wouldn't kill one of them. No, he wouldn't kill them, no. He would tame them all. He would tame them all, they'd be on his side. Yeah, and he'd be just surrounded by, like, hordes of reptiles that have given in to him. <laughs> and behind him in the clouds, the face of Steve Irwin, just looking down and smiling. Like Mufasa. <laughs> just smiling in the heavens. And just all the lizards just immediately just start praying to it. <laughs> this lizard god. I think, yeah, humanity would be pretty fucked. Especially with all those, like, ringer hero, like, um, reptiles in. Joe, we'd have to get, a, like, you know, the ultimate ringer. We'd have to get fucking Ace Rimmer. <laughs> in Red Dwarf, oh, when he yeah. rides the alligator. <laughs> <laughs> but who's going to defend us from everything fucking else? Well, I, we... The only one is David Attenborough. Oh. David Attenborough's just there. <laughs> He's like, and I imagine him floating around like Magneto. <laughs> that, like that thing he's like his knowledge his, his knowledge of lizard kind just supports him as he flies through the battlefield just like in like acknowledging all of them and like, okay I'll just go back now I'm done like the, I think David Amber is just god to most animals <laughs> they seem like that's that's Jesus well they've got the chameleons obviously so we need our own stealth uh, in, uh, infiltrator yeah and who better than Solid Snake because they'd hear his name and be like oh he must be one of us no 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 he's one of ours He's got a solid snake. <laughs> solid snake. He's just infiltrated wearing the crocodile hat. He's just sat in the meeting <laughs> and he comes back and reports to us. There's just, there's like um, a boardroom table with loads of alligators sat yeah. around and the snake just sat there with just the hat on. I know I say it every time, but these are my favourite videos to record. Folks at home, give us some more examples of hero fucking reptiles who might turn the tide in the reptiles' favour. And perhaps give us suggestions for another animal that might take over the world for another one of these videos somewhere down the line. Cheers.